Hi guys, my name is Michel with Michel Real Estate. Someone on this channel asked me to make a video about the most desired locations to live in Luxembourg City. Now in this video, I will go through the most desired areas, which does not actually mean that these are the best areas, but it just means that in my opinion, these are the areas that are most favored by renters and buyers and other areas might be more favorable for people that are certain stages of their lives where they like to be in a more lively area. So stay tuned, we'll go through all of them and hopefully you'll find the right one for you to buy or to rent in. So let's talk about the different areas of Luxembourg cities as we like to call them the quartier, like the French call them. It's basically a neighborhood. It's a set delimitation of a certain area within the Luxembourg city, which you can find very distinct uh, types of architecture and also there's different types of populations living in there. About the population, so there's 125,000 people living in Luxembourg city this day. But of course, every single day, new people rush in and out in the evening just for their work, which means that during the day, the population rises by 100,000 more and drops again in the evening. Right, so most people clearly live either abroad, so they rush in from the, border, from the borders, or they live around Luxembourg city in other villages and other cities. There's 160 different nationalities within Luxembourg city, which means there's a lot of diversity. And with that comes that there's a lot of different areas to choose from. So let's start with the very first one and the most expensive one, Limpertsberg. This area is one of the nicest and quietest areas of Luxembourg city, but yet its proximity to the center and all of the other areas of Luxembourg makes it also one of the most expensive ones to buy in. It has good schools, nice shops, a few bars and restaurants, and a tram which can bring you to Kirchberg as well as the train station. On the other hand, we have a huge parking lot right in front of this area, which hosts the annual Schöberfoa. This is a fair which attracts millions of people every year, and it also means that there will be some parking issues whenever this fair is held. So moving on from Limpertsberg, we cross this bridge, which is actually a red bridge. Here you can see why it's painted red. And we cross into Kirchberg. Kirchberg is basically Luxembourg's financial district, which hosts all the banks that you could possibly need but it also has all the European institution housed here, such as the European Forum, the Court of Justice, as well as the European Central Bank. Now we can also find some good residential properties in this area. It is a great area to live in, very new, very fresh, very modern. So if this is something that you want, then this is the right place for you to live in. So if you're into modern living, the next area that I want to propose to you, which also houses one of the major international companies, is Cloche d'Or. Cloche d'Or is a recently built area within the Luxembourgish uh, city limits. It is also very close to all the highway access, and so there's a good uh, mobility from here to anywhere else in the country and to all the other countries and as you can see there is also still some construction happening here the area is not completely ready yet but if you're looking into modern living this might be another option for you now let's move on to a more lively area this is called Cartier Gare which basically means station so here we find some landmark architecture and of course there's a tram which goes from central station to pretty much every other area of the city. We also find some good residential properties, single family homes and apartments. There's absolutely no shortage of them either. Also when it comes to shopping you pretty much can find anything that you could possibly need as well as some new development properties. And of course there's so many bars, restaurants and party facilities. Anything that you could be looking for as maybe a younger person, you will find definitely in this area. If you're into a more a quiet area to raise a family, perhaps Merle can be a area for you to choose from. This area, Mill and Bel Air, is basically one of the most expensive after Limpertsberg. It's right up there competing for the top areas when it comes to price. The area is most known for its Park Mail. In this park you can find a lot of playgrounds, even a doggy park is right next to it, and all the high schools are also clustered within this area. 
It is a very desirable uh, location to rent and buy in. As you can see, there's also some new development, some apartments, and basically this is one of the nicer areas of Luxembourg. It's very quiet, shops are more far and few between, but it makes it a very desirable location for families. There are also some hidden gems in Luxembourg City, and maybe I will cover those in the next video. If that's something that you're interested in, leave me a comment below and I will make that video for you guys. Other than that, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. And of course, I would love to greet you one day here in Luxembourg City. So once again, my name is Michel with Michel Real Estate and I'll see you in the next one.